Hello. Oh. Okay. Hello, hola, bonjour, guten tag, konnichiwa, bitches, what's good? Um, <laughs> I didn't prepare properly. I messed up. I forgot about a thing that I needed to do. Uh, let me, I need to delete something. I probably did get this. Probably, probably. Mm, 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 mm. I'll get that. And I need to make some space. Oh, is that enough? That might be enough. Okay, that's going to be a little while. All right. Let me play a bit of Monster Hunter while we wait. I forgot to upgrade the PS4 version to the PS5 version. That's going to take a while. So, nah. I'll do a little bit of Monster Hunter. Okay, how do I silence that? Okay. What do I still need to work on? Oh, well, that's one thing. Okay. I do I do I attempt going for the Aslos again or do I actually make progress? God, what is it with that thing? Or am I hmm? I can give it one more try.
Well, this was the thing I was closest with. I know I can do it with that. I just... I just gotta be extra uber, extra, extra careful. Or I just need more people, you know? That's also an idea. That'll do. Uh, I already checked my items. Uh, I'll open up the lobby. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Should work. Do a test. There we go. Okay, all set up. <sighs> Let me at this fucking Astalos. I like how whenever I put out the uh, join request, there's just nobody. Because they know. <laughs> they know it sucks. Okay. I ate, I got the items. I don't know about that. No, Might lose. <laughs> Might lose, you know? Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, this one's, like, big. Oh. Worth it. There it is. How embarrassing. Yeah. This is at the end. What? 
unpredictable. Jesus. The truth is, I enjoy the pain. No ship damage there. It's worth it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. So if he hits behind me, then I... I didn't get any warning for that one, though. Oh, fuck. I'm not close enough. You missed me. We're just gonna die of that. We're just gonna die of that. We're just gonna die of that. Oh. oh, please, please stop hitting me. So hard. Ah. Ah. Yeah, see you later. Ow, my stamina. Mischief after it. I had that Naga Kuga. You were showing up maybe a little earlier. That would have been great. here for you. Leave me alone. Oh, somehow. Got it. Oh. oh, I'm boxed in. Ooh. Nice. 
Oh, damn, I lost my third wire bug. Fuck. Alright. Oh, that's two cards. Got him. Ah, oh, the uh, the fish, the weird fish. Some humans could learn from you. work my friend Please stop. Son of a bitch. Hi, right, Leo. Humans could learn from you. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Uh, explosion? Yep. Okay. Oh no. Ah, uh, there's a lot of chip. Bitch. I'm just trying to heal.
You bastard. Like that. Uh oh. Mm. All right, I need to blind. I said blind, you motherfucker. God damn it. Wonderful work, my friend. Oh no. You should be fine now. I hit myself with that real quick. God damn it. Be careful. Hmm. Oh. I need health again. What did I block? That almost got me. Aim close. Okay. Must don't let it get away. Okay, survivability is strong. I just I know now I know. Hold on. I gotta I pee. But now I know what does like big damage and what doesn't. I'm back. Okay. I think we got this. I, I think we got this. Uh, I want to, I want to get Shogun Sianatar. And then I want to like dip out. Because he'd be useful. Hold on. Fresh supply. Oh, he's right here. Oh, didn't block fast enough, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. I just, I need you to let me heal. Oh, 
Oh, no. He's never done the double. Uh oh. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Please, oh my fucking god! I hate this fireball shit. Oh no! Water. <sighs> That's fine. We're running back. Yeah, I think there's something I'm missing from this set. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Do I have? No. Uh. Mm. I might have the materials for this. Uh... Oh, yeah, there it is. I need the dire claws. You know, I don't remember activating that uh, quiet manail mod, but I guess I did. <laughs> ah, she's totally silent. How wonderful. See, and that's why I can never play this game on Switch. <laughs> that right there. Uh, shield 4. That gives 2 shield up. If I had an augment on one of these armor pieces that added it, that added that... That would be really good. Let's see, We've got Archfiend and Aurora Camp. Let me see. That's probably an S rank skill. Uh. -huh. I'm looking at my like stream deck and I'm lost. I will be right back. <laughs>
We're back. I made some altercations. I don't know if it'll help me, but it'll make it a bit comfier. Oh, I already ate back to work. Got a memento, por favor. Uh, let's check on the Forbidden West download. It is it done? Uh, no, that's. Oh, oh wait, is this actually done? Just downloads. Really. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Okay. That was fast. It was faster than I thought it would be. I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give Astalos one more go. Your spirit shines bright. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Damn, Sergius. I'm not even worried about any of these other ones. May tranquil days return to us shortly. Oh, just helping make sure I got my items. <laughs> triple, double, triple check. flower now oh it's bothering me well done back out there there we go Okay. We should be good to go. All I gotta do is be careful. The hunt is on. I have awakened. Oh, we're awake. We're awake. Do that, okay. All I gotta do is be careful. Oh, lucky life. Where are you 
that. Hello. All right. That's a good sign. This is it. There's the target. do it. Oh, he missed. Ouch. Oh. Ah, so somehow. That's what Garda 3 will do for you. God damn you. Nice. Some humans could learn from you. Oh. oh, what the fuck? That got me from behind. It's crazy. Mm, I need to heal. Don't do it. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, God, give me out the foliage, please. Uh huh. We're fine. What the hell? I'm going back there. Hmm, mistimed it. Wonderful work, my friend. hit me at all oh the fuck oh get around okay sipping on juice he's leaving all right that was way better <laughs> Thanks for showing up so late, Nagakuga. Really wonderful. I gotta use Anchor Rage more. I'm just not using it enough. Let's go. Some 
humans could learn from you. Motherfucker. Oh, what's up, Big Popo? Been a while. How you been? Me? I've been suffering. <laughs> Fighting this Asolos. Oh, very nice. Sharpen. Nice. Oh, Naga Kuka's here. Uh, no extra wire bug around. I've uh, been busy with work, uh, playing Splatoon and Monster Hunter. Ooh. Monster Hunter Generation. All right. Yeah, work is constantly a thing. I'm glad you were able to show up today, though. And I hope... Ugh, I hope work has been treating you well. Because I know sometimes it doesn't. Some humans could learn from you. Ah, I missed the counter timing. Oh, I should heal. Oh, the house platoon three treat. I know that game's good. Oh, okay. Put a trap down. Oh, damn. Could he use that? I've been ready for that. Acceptable. Don't know where I'm supposed to guard for that. Let me see some here. This isn't the end. Oh, okay.
been fun is different from oh, platoon two. It's got a little more going on, a bit more to it. That like bow is interesting. Like it's an interesting way to do a bow in a shooter like that. I like it though. It's unique. Looks useful. up oh, i missed crazy oh oh very nice I gotta I got be on top of my defense this whole fight. This motherfucker aggressive. Be uh... aggressive. Be aggressive. Fuck out of here. Ah, I missed the timing. I hate that. Just block him. Oh, I'm gonna sail right over me. I need to leave. Be careful. Oh, it's close. I almost died again. Oh my god, fuck off with these zigzag fireballs. I hate it.
Stamina gone. Oh my god. Oh, nice, the Kidinator. Let's go. Ah, damn it. Didn't do Anchor Agent time. I am just running away. Ah! God damn it, these fucking... I hate the way they move. Oh, are you leaving? He's leaving. Okay. Must remain after it! I feel like I wasted that. Uh... Like I wasted that flash bomb. Now Mizutsune is here. Let me see some. Uh, no, not gathering. Mm. I guess I could use the marionette spider. I can't remember if there was a puppet spider on this map though. Mm, I don't think so. No, okay. Actually, I could use the stink mink too. Keep attacking. Is that? Oh, it's following me. Wait, I can't get up here though. I can't get down there. Uh oh. Need them to be in a similar area. Hmm. All right, you missed me. I think he's about to blow up. It's some of my instinct told me. Yeah, there it is. Why am I? No! Ah! God damn. So let's say, why am I so. Why is my health so low? Some humans could learn from you.
Ah, it's too far away. Somehow that works. Okay. Heal, 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 heal. There we go. Let's get it it's done. Give me it. Okay. Thanks for the support. Oh, blue skull. Let's go. Oh, so oh my god, I was so close to dying right there. Holy shit. Now stop with your fucking Rathian struggle bus shenanigans. Why was that close to me? Yeah, let's fucking go! Victory! Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna... Ugh. Oh yeah, he does the attack when he dies. He's gonna do it again? Okay. Okay. I shall put this to good use. Oh my god. Oh my god, I struggled so much. I struggled so much. You don't know. No idea. There we go. Uh. Hold on. Oh, there's a shiny. I gotta get it. There we go. Ah, I didn't need to get it. <sighs> Our quest is completed. Hold on, I think I had one faint. This quest, so one more on there. Oh my god, we finally got him. I just needed to retune my build a bit. That's all that was needed. Level 85 Astalus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Grand. Well done. I know, right? right? That shit was hard. <laughs> I feel like I got lucky a few times, too. But, eh. We take those. What the hell?
Ass to loose more like ass. <laughs> Trying my hand on a tank build, Lance on Rise. I mean, Lance is pretty good on Rise. It's really fun. And, and a tank builds do you well, honestly. That, that was what helped me with that last fight, is I just needed a bit more, uh, a bit more tankiness, a bit more. Okay, that's that done. I finally took down that ass low, so I'm riding high. And now... Here we go. Gotta get the sound. I just got its own mini theme, I see. Forbidden West for real this time. Oh, damn. Right in? I mean, English. Speech and movie language. English. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. What's that silence? How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, mm. triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn a little outcast girl ignorant of her own importance through her i learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle zero dawn <coughs> a terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions each playing its part to reshape earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape Tended and protected by the machines. Now, oh, Thunder Jaws are so cool. I learned the deepest secret of them all the secret of her birth. Oh, is this like a whole ass recap? Of Elizabeth Sinek, yeah. Zero Dawn's creator. Mm -hmm. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. 
but as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. <laughs> that I'm evil. <laughs> One that heralds both destruction hey, yo. and opportunity. That thing looked crazy. All right. Head up the settings first. Right, explore the world with minimal guidance. Uh, receive marks on screen to help you reach your quest destination. Okay, uh, dynamic. Oh, minders. This was absurd. Minders of Hades. Uh, I'll turn that off eventually. Eventually. Standby screen mode. Wait until the hint text has been displayed for the required amount of time before automatically beginning the game. Automatically start the game when ready. Hmm. <laughs> Slower. Normal. Pick up animations. Choose whether only pickups that do not have a hold prompt. Off. Hmm. Gauntlet runs, quick time events. Toggle. Auto. Toggle. I'll follow this road. Yeah. Pilot. Let's see if Shawnee uses a second controller. Let's just use a second controller with mirrored controls. Huh? Why? <laughs> Whatever preset it is, it's probably fine. No, welcome quick swapsy. This is Shawnee. Uh, sure. I'll hold, that's fine. Stop moving like now. Extra large. Give me the fat subtitles. Mono, I don't know. Turn off tonight of sounds. My right, favorite performance, of course. Left aligned, right aligned, that's fine. Climbing annotations, choose what the climbing annotations are always displayed without any circus. Blur, off. Camera shake, low. Underwater camera shake, I guess. Accessibility. Oh, I guess I already did these. Most of them, anyway. Okay. Oh, it's an extras. A recap movie cover and trademark cards. Okay. New game. Normal. Explorer. Explorer. Man, this game looking all beautiful and shit. God, 
lens flare. <laughs> I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. Oh no. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. Mm. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. Oh no, she's fading away. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Who's there? It is an Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. We? Oh. An outcast. <laughs> Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Is that spelling something out? Delving into ancient ruins? Looks like it's spelling something Maybe out. Maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um. I should. Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're still no matter what. Now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> oh, and she just got another focus like that? A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data <laughs> information 
on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Yeah. yeah. Hello, whoa. Words, but I can't touch them. Whoa. Is she like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. She said, this shit ain't new to me. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Okay. Here we go. Why am I hurt already? These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well. At least they make you feel better. Do I use focus again? We should keep going. Oh. Uh. Grab more of these plants along the way. Oh, that's the web. Yeah, that's that's just melee. Okay. Next jump. Circle to roll. All right. Square to crouch. Triangle. Nothing on triangle yet. L one. Weapon wheel. Right, yeah. Yo, that charge is crazy. I like that though. Let me see. Left, down. Okay, down is a uh, oh a rock. Okay, it's a uh, yeah yeah on the left, bottom left. Oh. Okay. Click in. Okay. Right stick. Right stick, click in. Send out a pulse. Can put this rock back up? Nice. Click in left to run, of course. Oh, wait. Can I, like, sense those if I... Yeah, okay. Hold on. Ah. Can I oh examine it? <coughs> Some of the blight is it's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Ugh. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. That's where we need to oh. I'm seeing a couple different paths here. Aloy. Aloy. Okay. <laughs> well, that tells me I wasn't supposed to do that, but. I don't know how to put these ropes here, but we can use the line to slide down. I mean, I guess that is a good question. Who did put the ropes here? I just left them up and everything. Uh, metal shards and chill water. Oh, I remember this. I remember chill water. We really traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times too. All right. <laughs> Shut up, Varl. I'm ziplining. The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um. Think of it like. Set of instructions that can fix the world. 
Sounds complicated. Very. Noticed your uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I uh, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Okay. Can I walk through this? <coughs> oh, some of the blight is it's peeling off. Like dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. That remind me not to examine the blight anymore. Okay, yeah, I can walk through it. It's fine. Mm, nothing Looks over like here. Thanks, Varl. <laughs> oh, I do take damage? I took a little bit of damage there. Uh oh. <gasps> oh! Carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. All right. Do I even have any? I have no arrows. None. Some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Ah. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. More ridgewood. More arrows. There's a ladder. But I can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Hmm. After you. Adaptive triggers. I spudding. How we slide? Oh. Transmission. Box. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, um... What happened? Oh, I love sliding. Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. Then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. Are you right about that? <coughs> Ooh. Oh, I should have been able to scoop those up. Cars? Still? Hmm. Oh, what was that? Huh. Golden thorn pepper. Don't go cold. Try it up. Ah, oh, bronze ingot, all shards. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we can do something with these cars then. I am open, get some schloot. Oh, that one, got that one. Can I... Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. Okay. Oh, this one is deep in the earth. Ain't doing nothing with that. And that's what the fox was. All right. Oh, unless, hold on. Come back here. Okay, no. Fine, bro. We're just searching. We're just looking. We're just scrounging around. Down this way. Uh oh, all grass. I got red hair. We can see its walk cycle. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Burrower. Those are its weak spots. Got it. It's eye. It's a weak spot. Right. Let's see. Burrower sound shell detachable. Second level. Resource container. Destroyed and killed. Things I have resources. Weak versus fire. It's attachable. So can I can I shoot it off with what I have now? I think I need those specialty arrows. Flaming. All right. Hey, yo. Ah, nice. We got it. Got him. He's dead, Jim. Another one's coming. Hold up. Get in the fucking grass. Hey, what's the undercarriage? Key upgrade resource. Oh my god. I need him to rear up again so I can hit that. Got 
Got him. Oh. Got him. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Mmm. Nice. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. I really hope I have like an infinite satchel. <laughs> I get all the machine loot. I see another. What if I keep holding it? Looks like it's stuck. Will it eventually let loose on its own? Probably not. Got it. Let me grab some arrows. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, 20 out of 20, that's why. I'll hold 20 at a time. Okay. Anything back here, behind here? What's up? Why is there grass up here? I can duck in. Sit over here. Anything? Anything? Nothing? First one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Hold up. P. I got a P.
I'm back. Hold on. Uh, let me look in settings again here. They're just much. I want a back title that's like uh, opaque. Come on. Hmm. Here. Uh, they got a little, um. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Oh God! Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. <laughs> Not on. getting through that way. Carl, shut up! I'm just looking. I'm just hall wagging. Denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Hmm. Well, let's find a way in. See you later. Please hold uh. for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. Borrow. I guess it doesn't like me either. All right, man. I should be able to pry this open. This climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Whoever Silence. Here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Good ask question. Ugh, what's that stench? Your mom. Uh, probably this thing on fire? No. Oh. Entire camp wiped out. Oh no. They must have come here to dump for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. Hmm. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. Huh? Hmm. I need something to pull the debris out. What's up? It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. Hmm. Gravel hook? And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Acid. Oh. Oh, this stuff burns. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Ah, sick. A workbench. 
Uh, broke a tool. Machine code, machine uh, pull caster. All right, everything's a caster. An improved version of a Delver's prototype tool that can latch on and pull object onto and pull object. Also enables grappling to specific point to sir. Either. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Okay, I guess it's context sensitive. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Ho. Nice. Works better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this thing for? God, don't touch that. Data console standard holographic access point. <laughs> it's Varl. <laughs> Well, good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard. Oh, shit. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Oh. I should activate my focus. Scan the area. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I don't think I'm doing this right. Ah. Okay. Wow. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. What was that? We get Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers and now far zenith is taking the next leap into the future that's why we're proud to have resurrected the odyssey when our governments abandoned in orbit far zenith will actualize in less than a decade 
But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. Wowza. The serious system. There will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Hmm. Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. <laughs> Varl is out of his depth, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? Mm. We here at Far Zenith believe escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. Good. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Yeah, Varl. <laughs> yep. The wilds have really blown over this place. Oh. Ooh, excuse me. He said, I'm a Lance user. My guard is up. No resources? Mm. Up here. <laughs> Careful. Do not those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stealth kills. I forgot. Moving up. I need to 
sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay, there's closer and stay out of sight. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. Time to throw. Around. Damn, spotting. No. Okay. I was like, I do want to do that salty. I hope I get the reset. <laughs> There we go. Mm. Gotcha. Oh, wait, what was that? Come on. Uh. Oh, machine muscle. Okay. Variants? Recon lightweight, a common recon machine that emits a high pitched sound to alert allies and stun enemies. It can tunnel underground and resurface in unexpected locations. Did you collect those uh, materials, my guy? What's up? Ah, you didn't. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Yeah, how many? Is that two more? I don't need to do these stealthy, do I? An 
I'm gonna need zero to rear up again. Oh, I can tag the parts. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, fuck. Whoopsie. Okay, he does an attack that leaves it vulnerable. Okay. How do I tell Varl to stand down? Please. Damn you, Varl. Got them all. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers offend you. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not permanent. Ah, oh, good. Hey, bitch, what? <laughs> what a beard? Oh, it's not permanent. Oh, thank God. Hey. What kind of shit? More blight. Oh no, the fox. Why can't I examine this corpse? Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. Couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. Got caught up in the blight. Room must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Okay, let me. Uh... Why can oh, okay, I have twenty? I used them. Careful, oh. traps ahead. Oh. oh, might be able to disarm them. Sorry. Do you mean we sneak up and... Ah, okay. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And yeah, three metal shards. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Sick. Three metal shards.
Hmm. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Let's see some. Ah. Ah. I remember there being a trophy in the first game related to like uh taking down training dummies. I can use this. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Oh my god, get out of my way. <laughs> Trap made. If anything walks into one of those, they won't know what hit it. All right, two, just two. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. Oh, do you? Scrounger. Scrounger. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we can place one of the resources. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta shoot that shit off. Varl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll be happier when he's gone. His his valuable upgrade resource will be easier to shoot because it's just on his back. It's on his butt, I should say. Oh, 
I'm more rich, but very nice. Ooh! Shot that shit straight off. Oh my goodness. Was it good, Brody? Oh, for that one next. Come here. Wait, hold on. Where's, where's your path? Where's your path? <laughs> All right. Let's keep going then. Hold up. I think there's stuff somewhere. I guess I'm wrong. Oh, I looted it all. Okay. Oh, it's over here. Ridgewood. Their secrets, but every place is different. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, it's the thing. It's the thing above. Yeah. Come on. Wasn't there a. Uh... I can't reach that ladder from here. I there was an ancient supply box somewhere. Bunker door. Or another one. Rather. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. To the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. Let's see. High Council. Let's see. Text log, data, corruption, partial. High Council Executive Summary. Negotiations with representatives from Zero Dawn have concluded. And I am exceptionally pleased that we've arrived at a mutually profitable agreement. It shows that sugar usually goes down better than salt. In contrast to the less tactful uh, recommendations of uh, certain of our more reactionary members. In short, Varzenith will provide a copy of the prototype Homer archive already sent. 500 uh, ectogenic chambers to be retrieved from storage at our a NEMA facility, supplementary ectogenous research reports. In exchange, Farzenith will receive a copy of the alpha build of the Apollo database in the week prior to Odyssey's launch. By our estimates, Zero Dawn's timeline, by then it should be a near complete repository of human knowledge. It should be noted that Dr. Sobek was very reluctant to agree to this, but I drew a line in the sand, making it clear that this is a non-negotiable term. As our faithful media representative, I will continue to run all public communications with Dr. Zobek's team while data corrupted. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Hmm. Come on. Yeah. 
Ancient ch ancient chimes. The keys. Ancient toothpick. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. Yeah. Looks like we've got to climb up. There's another box somewhere. <laughs> it's Varl. Ah. That looks like the way we came. Shut up, Varl. Oh God! You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. All right. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. There's another one of those glowing things by the table. Let's see what's up. Uh... Anzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Oh, they fucking stole it? Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades Protocol. Hmm. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unfortunate How was that? She looked like you. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? <laughs> it's okay, Paul. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless. Why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. Motherless behavior. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? It's like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last home. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Varl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. 
I mean, yeah, but we'll have time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Damn, old thieving ass uh Farzina. Oscar must have left us behind. Is this can help them? A weapon. Thanks, Mo. We should keep moving. After you. Frost blastling. Uh, blast. Okay, it's a blastling. Blastling launch bombs that affect large areas. This weapon fires frost bombs. Use them against enemies. Build up the brittle state. On the brittle state, enemies are more vulnerable to. Oh, impact damage. Very nice. Thank you, Varl. I'm always on the lookout for resources. Down here. <gasps> oh shit. Alright, drop, 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 drop. Give me that. I think we're almost back outside. Good. real stuffy in here oh god What's up, baby? I can do more damage to it while it's brittle. I better switch to my bow. It's all gotcha. brittle, Aloy. Goddamn. I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here. Hold on. They kind of low. Can I boost now? They're at 100% right now. <laughs> Let's go for headphones. That does anything. Oh, I was playing on, huh? bit of balance do that big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the auditorium 
Imagine going up to the stars in that. Imagine. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. I need that. <laughs> Sneaky one. Oh, sneaking ass. Hmm. Okay, so. I didn't do that. God damn it. <laughs> Wasted that. Go ahead, rear up for me. Got it. Oh wait, no I didn't. Fuck. Whoa, fuck. Gotcha. Oh. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Knockout. Die. <laughs> okay. Now how to get out of here. Ah, it's kind of a spark coil. That's what I was looking for, I think. Even if you knock the thing off, it doesn't guarantee it. I got everything. Ah. There's a ladder in the back. Yeah, for all I know. 
Wait a second here. Is that like a thing? No. Hey. Oh, another borrower. Tag. Anything on the ground level? Anything else? One. Is this anything? I guess not. Tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Two of them, three of them. Three of those things. And if they slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fly. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy. Trust me. And there she goes. Nice, we're leaving Varl behind. Sick. Just need to get over to the shuttle. Tag that one. The only one? Ugh, the light. Oh, there's one over there as well. Can't. Oh. There we go. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. <sighs> I should stick to my spear for now. Oh. Oh. Nah, I'm not here. I was never here.
again. Aim it again. Come on. All right. <coughs> COVID. Ah. There. That ladder can get me. Hmm. 
What have you? Oh god. Like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. <coughs> I bet there's a control oh, console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Sneaky one. Yeah, yeah. Over here. Got him. Motherfucker, get out of here. Huh? What's up? What you? Huh? Ah! Critical strike. Okay, we're looking at the clamp the control. control. Console might be in there. Okay, gotta crush those machines down below. Hey, you want a certified clamp operator? <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, ooh. A couple of those cables are holding strong. The shuttle's caught up in those cables. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? What was that?
Sound like footsteps. Hold up. Scanning with my focus could help here. Where is it? There it is. I think now. Ah, there it is. There we go. bugging Lord help me, I'm bugging. Okay, no. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I, oh my God. There we go. Need a running start. Waiting down below. 
Yeah, we're, we're committed. We're in it now. Stop the hall wug a little bit. Oh. oh my god. Oh no! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I made a grave error. Oh fuck. Okay, whoopsie. Was, made a grave error again, but not as grave an error. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. Maybe you was right. No turning back now. Oh. Oh, okay. Looks like they only got two of them though. Generation. Oh, fuck. Usable weapon. Ouch. Hey, yo. Yeah. Okay, hold on. It worked. Hey, yo. <laughs> Got him.
Oh, there's one. Ah! Stuck on these rocks. Where you at? Ah, shit. Oh, I down again. Oh, no. Hi, Narjala. What's up? Damn it, it broke free. Ah, thing down fast. Trap making frost ammo. Oh, fuck. Where my focus might find something I can use around here. Oh, my God. Bro, I just want your canister. I just want whatever that canister is, bruh. Please. See. See nothing. It's dead. Finally, so the fang. Did I knock something off it? The data center should be straight ahead. I'm pretty sure I did. I guess we're all gonna have to find another way there. Oh, is this the weapon? Oh. Yo. Did I knock this? There's a quill. Hold on a sec. I gotta look in the notebook. Skills. Just go points, go points, go about living love. Big plus, what was that? <laughs> Recover concentration faster. No, please more slowly. Okay. What? Oh. Okay. I'm a warrior. Right. The thing. <laughs> oh, there's more down here. I don't know. Of the fang heavy weights these are the uh, the fins the sonic hood i guess earth grinder you have great resource okay Big versus fire frost purge water damage acid damage.
Blow blast canister. And what is that loot? Okay, I can see. Blowfang earth grinder, very rare. Okay, and this is glow blast. Okay. Volatile sludge. The obtained from the most powerful and dangerous machines can also occasionally be obtained from any apex variant machine. Oh, nah. They got apex variants. This is a monster hunter game for sure, bro. <laughs> what? Let's see if there's anything else. What about the those sins on the side? Purge water sack. Sludge and purge water. It's oh, it's the tail. And this loot is usable. Okay, so I shot that off. What about the other thing? Like that's it. Oh, right here. Triggers an elemental explosion of shot with plasma damage. Oh, okay. Detachable. Okay, damn, I was I was shooting at the wrong shit, dude. Damn. Hey, yo, that's just the fucking uh, event light bow gun from uh, <laughs> Monster Hunter World. On oh, God, on oh, God. Moth potion, machine muscle, and some chill water. Chill water. Wait, did I get two? Damn. I... I knocked two of them off? Damn, I could have used these. Uh, <laughs> if I wasn't... So distracted by all of the spectacle. I'm definitely trying to use that next time. Or maybe these uh, exploded off at the end. Where is when I knocked off this guy? Here we go. Now does Aloy face man? Ooh. Oh, let's zoom in. No, I like that. <laughs> oh shit, wait. There we go. Oh, that smile is so face app, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Ponder. 
Nah, that ain't ponder. I know what that is. Biting, why is she biting the bottom lip like that? Hold on. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> why is this one called inside joke? Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. And there's a lot of these. Wait, actually, yeah, hold on. I want to get a good one. Hey, yo, what's up with this? What's up with this fly? Wait a minute. And there's an actual fly in my room. Goddamn. You don't say. <laughs> Hide the pain. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect, actually. Oh, my God.
Oh. Hmm. I like this one. <laughs> Wish you were here. Sir, <laughs> nah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a, there's a lot of good poses here. Hmm. Oh, like she's leaning up against it. Oh, fuck. That would be good, though. <gasps> Unwind, rewind. That's perfect. I thought about it. I kind of want to. I kind of want to get it from the backside, though. See, rewind. Facial expression doubt. Oh! Now we got gestures. Guard up. Oh, shit. She's running. Yo, when they, <laughs> whenever they do that, uh, whatever Monster Hunter thing they're going to do, these better be in there. Yo, Swan Dive. Yo. <laughs> I'm going to need all these. Your Cannonball. Okay, we went through all of them. We can whoop. right here. I like that. Where's doubt? There we go. Oh, that's perfect. I do want.
Oh, there it is. Top right. Okay. All right. Oh. Don't think I'm playing Monster Hunter. Okay, sure. This more Ridgewood. What are It's probably not going to be the same one every time, but I do like that pose. Uh, all right. Okay. I'm done looking. Ooh. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the system, heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Ask the question. Let's see, data corrupted. On the matter of Mr. Dalgard, he's uh he's been a valuable member of of uh yeah, of Farzina for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesperson to preserve anonymity for the rest of us. But with all the new members we recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey's exp uh, expedited timeline, there are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts have to be made, and let's face it. Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. Uh, he'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. That doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to... Oh, God, they killed him. That's fucked up. They just murdered that man. Reach for the stars. It's here. Now how are we gonna get it? Thou shalt not steal a super advanced terraforming system. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. Uh oh. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. <laughs> Damn, they had the DRM built in. Aloy? 
What's up, Varl? How you get here? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes you know but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads Varl. but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me someone who might get hurt this is on me, Varl. Nobody else. Yeah, Varl. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Laurel, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Oh yeah, we're gonna take him over? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's trying to look cool. New interlude, the point of the lance. I see what you did there. Double entendre. By the sun. Bless us. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Blameless Marad. Marad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain. That makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Ooh. Come. I'll show you. And it's been a while since Zero Dawn, like five years. <laughs> I don't remember much of it. Was that spire Just always say, there? You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. Starting to rain. <clears throat> Starting to rain. One night for less than half a minute, it glowed and from Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that. We left mm. everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The spire is supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. I bet Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm sure I got the connection to that thing. 
Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Hold on. Uh... Ah, down the way here. Huh. I want it a little bit louder, but let me see something. Examine the orb that contained the Hades. One of my mento, poor favor. Okay. That's about where I want it. I can check the levels later. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now let's do a little bit of balancing as well. Want the speech volume up? Oh, no, looks the same as before. Yeah, like that. Could pull this the spear. What? Transmission. Oh my god. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Oh. Ah, oh, damn, I thought that would work. I should be able to pull that crane closer. Oh, I'm done. Over to the spire. 
Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me Silence. <clears throat> but it looks like he tricked me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Oh, uh oh. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? Uh, okay. An elevator? Let's see. I'm like, man, what's she doing up there? The Forbidden West. Bastard. Well, Eloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. Ah. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, then why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West? And to learn all that I've discovered. That's the name of the oh, game. Good friend, you are right. Yes. Well, and the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Okay, silence. All right. I should be flattered by the statue. Oh. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. It looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Not work to do. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Hello. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. 
This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. Oh. Aloy! Why, it's an honor. You went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. Mm. They allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great. Just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see. Oh, look at that little kid. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. New spear. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit, Vanasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's very kind of clean. Try it on. <laughs> it's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Mm, champion spear. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Should I want a workbench? Wait, not yet. That word, man. I've seen a workbench around here. Oh, that, wait. Nope. <laughs> Ethan, careful. Ethan. Dowager Queen Masadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. <laughs> Did I say right? <laughs> you said Is that right? Yes. <laughs> and you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. <laughs> I'll watch out for him. Yo, this dude's armor is sick. 
Yo, his whole fit. Look at this guy. His fit clean. With the axe. I fuck with it. Hey, yeah, where the word bench at? <laughs> Right, your spirit talk to your friends. Okay, that's optional. Okay. Do the optional thing first. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. <laughs> I don't want the statue anyway. Made out of stone. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun. That's a Noct? By the sun. Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. I see years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. Mm. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was tricky. Mm. Oh, for peace? How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We'd met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seemed to have eased the tension. Nice, this nice. This coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Itaman. Itaman looks happy. Well, you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But... I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. Hmm. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. <laughs> you make it sound easy. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? Well, no, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Cinnabar Sands? I feel like that sounds like a, like a destination in uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Cinnabar Sands. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. To knock the emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. Oh, what if it's the trap? That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, how 
I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to <laughs> get to know each other properly. Oh, he's thirsty. See, uh, flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How Aloy expresses her personality is up to you. Choose fist and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose brain and Aloy will use her insight to find a clever, less obvious approach. Choose heart and Aloy will express compassion or give voice to her deepest convictions. Are you kidding? That's not the time. It's a nice thought. It's, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Are you kidding? You're a cuck. <laughs> like, oh boy. It's a nice thought. I do hope to see Meridian again a lot. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. We must remain focused, brothers. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Boundless. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. We would at workbench at. Let's see if I just followed the freaking. There, the workbench. Hey yo. Ruthid, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. Goddamn. Should I say something of substance every once in a while? What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. 
the Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, she's figuring me out. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Saw Master Override and imagine it would build up and release kinetic energy in combat. Requires resonator blast skull to use. Hmm. Okay. Master Override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Looking sharp as ever. Is that the time? Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. She's gonna sneak off in the night. Oh, wait, actually, no, she's not going to the Forbidden West. She's just, uh. Oh, she is. There she goes. I hope this doesn't get claimed.
Oh yeah, here comes here comes the title crawl. And just two thunder jaws just chilling. I raindrops. There it is. Sparks to steel. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines i can handle machines oh i'm sure you can but uh, i'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at chain scrape sounds the all clear look I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <sighs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. <laughs> I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. Let's see here. Let's look down the skill tree. Yeah? Ranged master, bolster your resolve and deal more damage with range weapons for a limited time. This is a valor surge. Learn all three connected skills. Oh, okay. Ask boost. I know. Okay. 
Yo. Part breaker. It's called part breaker. <laughs> oh boy. Critical boost. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> There's the there it is. There's what I saw. God damn. I'll say deals more damage. Hmm. I do want the, the long lasting concentration. Need it. Gotta have it. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of chain scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Look at all that yeah, tall grass. Passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. What is? 
That's Aloy. Studious, Vadis. Aloy, you know, savior of Meridian. Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another Vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for trash. Whoa. Just take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend, but it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. On fire. Oh, hold on a sec. Hey, yo, pig. Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Hmm. Oh, a bunch of burrowers.
Sun liquor politics? Change school for a little face. Fire Fanghorn. Should have its antlers will stop it from gouging me. Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Don't even worry about it, man. Fuck. 
Ow. Hey, it's square up. Oh, well, I know where he is. Or. Oh, yeah, Richwood. Oh my god. Yeah, what the hell? Stash this away for later.
out his ass. Had a chain scrap. Could set that machine on fire. I do not have fire arrows. Oh, here we go. Mind me. Whoa. Ah, oh, not a rock. Pain subsided. Wow. I shot it off, but I didn't get the part. Oh. Chain scrape. Blaze, but and a piece of green shine, a rare value resource. A little more green shine can be used upgrading certain weapons and outfits. And trading sword. Okay. Give me your schmeat. Be in chains, great baby. Let's do a little. What is that? It's a J. Got him. Back here, you tasty ass board. Ugh, acid. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristle back. Maybe Aaron took it down. It must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgrade. Did I get him? Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Take all that.
Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come what the fuck y'all talk about? <laughs> Hey, what's up? Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jorah's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra. Petra? Aloy. What are you doing here? Uh... About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... I, I, I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our lab, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, <coughs> of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair, good to see you. Oh no, that man just popped in. On. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. She thirsty too. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. So Alvin blows that pussy no. Locks new ammo, increase weapon stats. Acid Hunter arrows. Brewer secular. Might as well. And Brewer sound shell. Marsh. Ah, uh, frost blast sling. Can I upgrade this? I can. Blade is beta. Bristle back, so can, okay. Great job. We got the shards. Ah. Angorn Alloy? Do I want to use that? I'm using a bunch of shards, so I better watch out. <laughs> Might as well. I went through the trouble of getting the uh, fucking antlers there. Potion crafting. Oh, pouch upgrade. Squirrel hide. Damn it, I should have hunted that raccoon. Here we go. A uh, bomb satchel. Oh, good bomb satchel. That's a lot of metal shards, though. I gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm running low. <laughs> gotta keep going, sorry. I kind of like those weapons, actually. I'm drunk. <laughs> Tinkering with one hammer isn't gonna kill you. Unless Alvin and his cronies hear about it. Believe me. So, 
This should be useful. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Eyes up here, brother! What is this? Ah, oh, my stash! Oh god, we got exclamation points. Which means we got side quests. Hey Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Alvin discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. How did you end up in Chainscape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Mm. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And <laughs> don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. <laughs> if you say so. Meat, bitter leaf. Go to the scrounger site. Which often grows on rocky terrain. Oh, and I get a skill point if I do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it's a bit of ways away. It's a little ways away. Check it out. got enough wild meat. Just need to pick some bitter leaf and grab a metal panel from the scrounger. Uh, unknown melee pit? Okay, I gotta see what the fuck that is. A melee pit, you say? We are on the same side here, Ova. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the Carger who let the Bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of barren light. That is preposterous. Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? 
You mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree? Oh, Love you, you uh, damned concession oh, oh, would be finally. managed by the people who actually live and work on it. I'll come find you later. What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrates, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, have I given him the stink eye? Herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. <sighs> Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh... <laughs> burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osarum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Hmm. Who appointed you? If the chain scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Hmm. Founding of Chain Scrape? You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Doubt. Practically founded, I said. <laughs> okay. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Okay. Where's the whistle? Town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. 
And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. The bristle back. See what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. What is this? Unknown machine strike? Oh there. Aloy, change your mind about that brew? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Oh Lord, they made their own little fucking mini game. Lord have mercy. They made their own chess. Come to revel in some strike, sister. Let me set the board. I was What's up? passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanak original straight out of the forbidden west sit 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 i'll run you through it in a hot spark i'll give you something special if you win it on my boards too all right beginner tutorial that's a two board okay boy what does all this mean okay those must be different effects yeah. Oh, the glossary. There you go. Uh, minus two power in the chasm. Minus one power in the marsh terrain. Grassland plus one power in the forest terrain. Fire and flying plus three power on a mountain terrain. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just explain it, I think. All right. Let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine. And each machine is worth a different number of victory points. Okay. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? Hmm. That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move. Okay. How powerful their attacks are. Okay. The distance they can strike from. Okay. And of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Okay, Take so this is like... Notes if you need a reminder. Huh. Okay, so if it can move two forward, it can only move one diagonal, it seems. Interesting. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Okay. I'm going to move it over here. Oh, oh, I guess this would count as two move. Okay, no, wait, I understand that, yeah. Um, But can it only attack in front of itself, it seems? Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. Overcharge? Yo. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. 
This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece. When performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. Mm. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's comp. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines. This means your machine can do two points of damage. Did you get all that? Yeah. Knew you were a smart one. Finish. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Oh. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but so use at your own discretion. Let's try doing that now so you can see. That's about it for your turn, then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds. Machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes that overcharge your machine. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're going to receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. Ah. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, You'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did just that means that wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. Oh boy, this is gonna you be like Gwent. Be fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. No need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. <laughs> now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Don't be a stranger.
come for that beer after all, eh? Let's talk to Petra. Sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah, don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. All right, what about the bristlebacks? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. Mm. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. There's no way, bro. The workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Mm. Ah, damn Karja slavers. <laughs> I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's got to be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What about that fucker, Olvind? So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. Mm. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. Ooh. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Fat Middle Spring nut. the investors to front claims on anything in the daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. Mm. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality. So he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger. I'll give him that. Figures he keeps up the pressure. Eventually, the magistrate will sign. So it's about power, of course. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. We gotta talk to that magistrate. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. <laughs> Wait, get me out. Let me out. What's good, guy? Arnuf. 
What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast the chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but... <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get him open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Mm. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind, <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvin who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olvin's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I get that. Would appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, hi. You trouble. Okay, where's that magistrate? I also want to know what the fuck that melee pit is about. Where's the magistrate at? Yeah, okay. He's not a dude. Portions. Yeah, he's locked too. Okay. Oh. There he is. Ah, savior. Over here. Oi. Savior. Thank you for taking the time. There. Okay, good. Pause. I got this.
I'm back. Hey, y'all ever do that thing where you uh, you just don't blow on hot food and then you swallow it and then it like slowly burns your esophagus? <laughs> Uh, and it feels like you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I'll never learn my lesson. I'm, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely led Bristlebacks into the dawn. It's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. Okay, but be real with me, though. Did you purposely let Bristlebacks into the daunt? <laughs> you could tell me. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report oh. of them oh, came Lord. from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings, I don't know it was, about. I don't it was probably all them. Over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvind up. Oh. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor is an honor i mean but your job would be a lot easier without someone like olvind blasting hot air all the time olvind's not going anywhere he's been around longer than i have even fancies himself the founder of chain scrape <sighs> well, i'll find a way to live with him i have to mm. blaming the carja how does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. All right. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead all right oh I still need to know what this, uh, what the melee pit. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> New melee pit. Any awesome worth their steel? Knows training in close combat at change get melee pit. Can mean the difference between life and death. Talk to the pit master. Yo. So you look kind of sick, my guy. <laughs> 
You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Mm. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakhta are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. Mm. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Now, why else would I come to the melee pit? <clears throat> Melee pit sets your close quarters fighting skills against other human opponents. Complete all challenges against the fighters to ultimately face the pit master. It also allows you to practice your melee skills in a focused tutorial or open-ended training session. Melee skills on light combos. Okay. are fast but easily blocked so learn to combine them with other attacks yeah. Yeah. <laughs> attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage but they're slow so your opponents might counterattack Oh my god. Power attack smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. They're all right here. <laughs> These are the combos I was looking for. Okay. <sighs> Not yet with you. Okay. Melee pit done. We're not done. Man. Charger side. Got to do a 
leaf, non, argosite. Oh. Oh, the bristlebacks. Okay. Uh, I say we go. If I'm drunk, you no, not this way. Excuse Here we go. How goes it, Hammerhead? It seems like Bitterleaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. Okay, I think I have enough Bitterleaf. Now to the side. Okay, I need to, uh... Wondering what I'd pass on the way there, but not much. Hmm. Make an interesting color for my armor. Hmm. Them. Guess I should leave it for now. Blocked path. Oh. Okay. first though actually uh, okay. I need some metal shards so we can just go in and melee what's up I can turn this around oh. hits Oh 
No! Oh my god. He's dodging all of my attacks! Oh. Giving up. Okay. I just needed shards. That's all. Apparently I knocked this off. Nice. Yeah, I do more damage with this now. Come up. more rocks by the way if I find where these machines are made I might fuck <laughs> missed sick nice oh fuck Balls. Oh! Hey, dog, that's crazy. Oh my god, that has so much, just has crazy amount of tracking. Ah, oh, fuck. I think that was really unfair uh, how I tracked them like that. So it's saying it's like below me? But I don't know. This is like an entrance somewhere or something. Huh. Alrighty. I 
see now. Wait. Oh no. This is where I came from. <laughs> All right. Now that I know which way I'm going. There? There's enough. Uh, hmm. Okay. Still more. Oh. <sighs> Sunken cavern. Oh. Okay. Okay. It was just all right. That's what it was. It was just the area. <gasps> oh fuck! Better shake off this wet. <laughs> oh, you tea bag super fast. Nice. Check another scrap pile. Yeah, let's uh do smart these boots. Pass it'll do a lot of damage. Oh. 
Hello, what happened? <laughs> I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. I could use a decent meal. Cauldron to learn how to override machines. Like I hear something. Oh. Oh, fuck. See you later. There's a lot around this area. This will be my stash when I need it. Ah, damn. No way I can get up there right now. Oh, it's that boar I tracked. Anything else in this thing? Oh. 
I don't have a merchant I can sell these valuables to yet. Um. Got him. You're cooked. Nice rock. Ah, damn it. Scared it away. Okay, no, wait, I didn't find whatever this was. <laughs> Here. I got a manual save. Let's hit another manual save. way what is this like straight line am i bugging what is that <laughs> remember site charger site and then i get to the mine i have to get to the mine I'll have to find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that.
Will I be able to get this rock back? Probably not. Keep it. Hey, what's up? See me? Now you do. Now you're, now you're curious. Now you're wondering. Lift that eye up. Lift that eye up real quick. Oh, shit. Easier. Low down, Mr. Rat. Go ahead, lift that eye up. Christine Skull. There's an old watchtower at the top of that cliff. I wonder if there's anything still inside. Let's check it out. I'll save this for a dire. There we go.
some kind of device. The metal reflects the sun. Send a signal? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> lens of dawn. Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Smoke. Come in from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Oh, yeah. Oh! Okay. That was close. Um. What do you mean? Alright, you know what? It's fine. I want to do the rappel down like I'm supposed to do. Heart dropped a little bit, not gonna lie. Look at that zip line. Acid ammo could help here. Horns. Step a little closer. There we go. Damn. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble.
Oh fuck. Uh. We got four charger horns. That's good enough. Oh. Let's go points. Oh, uh, we got three of them. Let's go. Resonator blast. Block breaker. Not a warrior. Alright. Now that one I just want to override and uh, ride. I got enough for these charger horns, I think. Arrange. Uh, we got rocks. Oh, this is the shelter. No, 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 the workbench. Ah, oh, okay. Let's borrow a side up here. No, it is. All right. Ooh. Horned lizard. Feather. I don't wonder if I could buy supposed to oh, I'm just All right, hold on a sec. Uh Looks like the foreman Ornif mentioned. I should check in with him. Ah, oh, Mac. Out of here, boy. Oh no. You good? I, 
I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arna sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Uh, uh. Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I... Some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Hmm. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. <laughs> what caused the explosion? I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. Hmm. I guess the blast went very controlled. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Going in. Gotta find those two miners. Quick. Hello? Can anyone hear me? One of them doesn't look too good. You need to leave, Look. Gordon. Not with Refreshing. Me. I guess. I think I'm starting to see. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I. I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. Should still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? <laughs> you can't move. And I'm not leaving you here. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft and blow it sky high. <sighs> Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track. Maybe I can blast with the blockage.
Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, wait, what the hell? I'm stumped. Oh, the fuck? I did not see that. Give me some cover.
drauf. Follow those trucks. See if they lead to the explosives. Hmm. Let's see where this leads. There's the explosives. Here we go. On the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. We made it. Nice. I did the trick. Oh, guess that got its attention. Uh oh. Tracker bro. Oh fuck. Oh god. Let's go check on those miners. Back up. Try again. 
So dead. We don't know that. Yeah, you don't. Looks like everyone. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Right. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Size of my backside. Thank you very much. Oops. Here we go. <laughs> Sup, Corvind? I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvud, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. <clears throat> all right, deep trouble done. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And Ooh, two skill good. points. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. I'll pick these up. Hell yeah. Has anyone seen Thornton and Luca? They're safe. No, not to worry. Okay. A fast travel back here.
I need one of these stores to open. Er, one. There go the bristlebacks. Ah, oh, there's Baron Wayne. Now, where did we... Hold on a sec. Where did we start at? Over here? Because... Hold on. We start from here. Uh, through these gates, so... Oh, there's another tower. Okay, I just need to approach it from a different spot, I think. Uh, right here? We land right here? Yeah, I think so, because we worked our way through this part. Yeah. We came down, like, from this area. So there is no going back, actually. Uh, I'm gonna deliver these supplies. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. <laughs> I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Hmm. He throwing it down. He mixing it up. Perfection. Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. <laughs> to see you again. Resistance is a dish best served hot. Oh, hold on. I can talk to the pit master now. Oh, ooh, wait, wait. We're, getting, we're, we're getting skill points pretty fast. This is a level one. Can I get, can I get it at level two? And how do I do that? This one, I'll unlock this to see if it works. Nice. You have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Hold a square to equip it. Hmm. What's level one? What do I do with that? that level i gotta know uh this weapon blah, blah, blah. this weapon technique can be recognized by its pentagonal shape skills in this category unlock a powerful new attack for all weapons in the class weapon techniques uh use up weapon stamina which regenerates over time okay Who provides temporary benefits and skill boost bro if they're not making monster hunter this 
It might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else Eldof's cooking up. All right, Pitmaster. I have the skills now. Maybe I should charge charge to watch this. I was hoping you'd be back. Got something new just for you, if you're interested. There's your spirit giving your phone to us. Hey, Tex. Of yours seems to energize after attacks. In landing heavy attacks, the combinations will energize you. Now to use that energy, yo, try attacking your enemy. See if you can energize them. And their armor's off. Shoot the energy. See if you can trigger a blast to cause death. This one goes to the Nora. Damn. That's pretty clean. Or a warrior. Didn't expect to see you up and about. One, two. What? What do you mean? I know. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. attacks are child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Oh, fuck. One, two. One. Defensive opponent, break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. Yo. Don't you think yeah. Oh, what? Brother. Oh, not here, not here. This is the aerial slash. Bring your blade down from the air onto your enemy. Deadly and a great way to set up follow-up attacks. <laughs> See what the jump off do. Jump off can not only give you distance from your opponent, it can also set up an aerial shot. Hmm. Aerial shots. Good 
You did it! Oh, almost. Okay, I need four more moves. Half Moon Slash, the Destroyer. Spinning Scythe. An energy wave. Okay, I can actually do the challenges now. Oh! One, two. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. I didn't do it. Try again. Ah. Your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Find close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. Okay. I don't have to beat them with that combo. Part of your opponent before the energy fades. That spirit can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Pitmaster challenge. Let's go. Your move. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You find well. Yield. I yield. <laughs> That's pretty clean. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodark. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. Hmm. <laughs> Pristine skull. Very nice. I should go. I'll be here if you want to practice more. Drinks later. Why? Oh, wait. Does I have an highlight at home? Is that a quest? No. 
I guess it was Florida. Oh, the Kentucky. Kentucky. There we go. Okay. Next is the Bristlebacks. Okay. But oh my god. All right, that's enough for right now. I've been going on for a while. It's time for me to get up on out of here. Big ups to Big Popo 69 for showing up and hanging out. Appreciate you. And uh, I love the lurkers. I love the lurkers. Keep lurking. Or don't. You know, your choice. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, got to get out of here. And until next time, I was never here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here.